Frosinone is a town within the province of Lazio, located 90 kilometers south of Rome and about 120 kilometers north of Naples. Frosinone also has a population of 44,087 as of 2021. Frosinone Calcio was originally founded in 1906 as Unione Sportiva Frusinate, but the 1928 season is when competitive matches were first started to be played. The club w was refounded in the 1959 season as the club declared bankruptcy the year prior and again in the 1990 season, where the club gained its name that we know today as Frosinone Calcio. Throughout their long history, Frosinone has predominantly been a lower division team, playing 37 seasons in the fourth division of Italian football under various different names, and has played another 14 seasons in the third division, again under numerous names. From the 1934-35 season to the 1987-88 season, Frosinone played every season in either the fourth or fifth division, and has really only begun to drastically move up divisions in the 21st century. Which takes us to the 2000-2001 Serie, Serie D season, in which Frosinone finished second in Group H with 81 points to ASD Martina Calcio, but they were awarded promotion. It is unclear if they are promoted via playoff or if it was related to points, as Frosinone had the most points out of any second place team throughout the nine groups, uh, and was actually tied for the second most points out of any team throughout the nine groups. But I was unable to find evidence of any promotion playoffs, so I assume it was via points. By the 2003-2004 season, Frosinone was on the move again as they finished top of their group in the Serie C2 division, which was the fourth division. Uh, they uh, finished top of their group by one point. That's Rosanone had 64 total points, and Benedici Football Club had 63 total points. In the 2005-06 season, Rosanone gained promotion via playoffs from the Serie C1, or third division, um, to the Serie B. Uh, Rosanone finished second with 55 points behind Napoli, who won the league of 68 total points. Napoli was in the third division after they themselves declared bankruptcy and were forced to move down to the third division. This was Frosinone's first foray into, Siri, into the Serie B, and while they were later relegated in the 2010-11 season, by the 2013-14 season, they were promoted once again to the Serie B, Serie B after having beaten Salernitana, Pisa, and Lecce in the playoffs. In their first season back in the Serie B, the 2014-15 season, Frosinone built on the success they had the previous season and surprised everybody by finishing second and earning promotion to the Serie A. This was the first time in the club's history as they finished that season with 71 points behind Carpi. In their first season in the Serie A, Frosinone unsurprisingly struggled, finishing second last and being relegated. However, this promotion was critical for, su for their success in the future as the club uh, began the project to finish the construction of the Stadio Benito Stirpe which sat unfinished for almost 30 years. This was very significant, as in the 15-16 season, their stadium was by far the smallest in the Serie A, as the Stadio Matuza held only 10,000 fans and was very dated and offered very little in terms of accommodations for fans and players, and very little um, shade and whatnot. The Stadio Benito Stirpe would be finished in 2017, and currently seats 16,227 fans. The construction of the stadium costs around 20 million euros for completion. With their new stadium, Frosinone spent the next few seasons in the Serie B, finishing third in both seasons, and in the 2017-18 season was promoted once again to the Serie A, after beating Cittadella and Palermo in the playoffs. The 2018-19 season was their second in the Serie A, and unsurprisingly, they struggled again, as they were relegated finishing second, second last with only 25 total points and 5 wins. Since the 18-19 season, Frosinone has spent most, spent most of its time in the Serie B, making the playoffs in the 2019-20 season but losing to Spezia in the finals, and finishing 10th in the 2021 season and 9th in the 21-22 season, just outside the playoffs in both seasons. However, last season, the 2022-2023 season, Frosinone shocked the Serie B as they won the title, finishing in first with 80 points an impressive, and an impressive plus 37 goal difference. While they had been successful in recent years, they were predicted to finish near the playoffs and even mid-table in a similar, similar position to their last couple seasons. 
This offseason and the start of the 2023-24 season, Syria, uh, Frozenone has built a squad that doesn't look like it'll be a shoe in to be relegated like their previous years, as the club has brought in many key loanees and signings, like Waleed Shadira on loan from Napoli, Abdu Harawi, Kai George, and Matthias Suler, who are both on loan from um, Juventus, Stefano Torati, their starting goalie on loan from Sassuolo, and Renier on loan from Real Madrid, to name some of their more key signings. These signings and the solid core they had built throughout the last couple seasons has led them to, to some very impressive results already. As for no Frozen One, at the time of this video, sit 8th in the Serie A, having beaten Atalanta and Sassuolo, and having drawn against Udinese, Salernitana, and Fiorentina. It would also be impossible for Frozen One to make the jump that they have without some key performers throughout the years, as Daniel Chafani is the all-time leading goal scorer for Frozen One. From 2013 to 2019, he scored 71 goals in all competitions and 68 total in the league, um, making 211 appearances. Another player that was pivotal in building what Frozenone has today is Federico Dionisi, uh, who played for Frozenone from 20, 2014 to 2021. He made 192 appearances and scored 62 total goals for the club. While there are other pivotal players, these two provided consistent goals for the club and did so in both the Serie A and the Serie B, and that's why I wanted to highlight them. Because it's really hard to lead the, league lead the line consistently from year after year after year, especially when other teams know who the, who the key contributors are on the offensive, uh, off offensive end of the football pitch. This rise has been fairly remarkable, as the club was essentially a fourth tier team for the vast majority of its history. I would say there's no one reason Frozenone has had this rise, but the owner's willingness to invest in the club and bring in both low knees and signings has sure played a big part. I also want to emphasize how big uh, completing the Stadio Benito Stirpe was for the club, as it provided the team a nice modern ground with better facilities and accommodations for both fans and players. This allowed the club to build upon the initial success of promotion. Um, as it would have been easy for the, for the owner to pocket the money from the in initial 2015 CDA promotion and accept that the team may fall back down a few divisions, but instead they have stayed true to themselves and have committed to building a team. It's impossible to guess what the rest of the season will hold for Frozenone, as they're still big underdogs to stay up. However, this initial start will hopefully give the team confidence to keep picking up points throughout the season, and if they can stay the course and survive this season it'll be very interesting to see what the club does this off season to attempt to not only stay in the Serie A for next season for the, for the season after I mean but to try to build and move up and go, move up higher into the table and even maybe one day challenge for whether that's a like UEFA Conference League or Europa League spot um, I think Champions League would probably be <laughs> a little out of the out of the question for them but, uh, but yeah it'll be interesting to see how this growth continues. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative or, or interesting. Um, I'd like to, like to say if you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing, liking the video, and um, I'll see you. I'll see you next time.